Hello, Mr. Matt. Let me introduce you to the uh, famous automatic orange juice squeezing vending machine. Um, I figured a video tour would be the best way to walk you through this, just so you can have a complete idea of what's going on. Uh, so let's open her up. Uh, first thing I'd like to show you is the top loading of the oranges, like I said, so that the technician will not need to um, touch the oranges. They can pull this out like this. It's well open on the top, so the technician will have plenty of space to be able to load the oranges in there. So this is first order of business. Second order of business would be the place where the technician can wash their hands. It's going to be right in here. Um, this is potable water that will be uh, refilled at the location after we have the commissary agreement. This is the um, spray gun that the technician can use to wash their hands here. Wash with soap, rinse, replace back right here. Uh, third order of business would be where the peels are dispensed, it would be right here on the bottom. Um, they're going to fall out of the bottom, out of the squeezing pot, into here. Normally there's a plastic liner in this bin um, to catch them, of course. Um, last but not least, the squeezing pot. Let's go ahead and take it out real quick. Give you a better uh, view. This right here is the casing that this holds the squeezing pot. Okay, I'm going to show you the squeezing pot goes inside of here. It's completely isolated from the rest of the machine. Um, I'm going to, right now there's no squeezing pot in here, I'm going to show you as if the technician had already taken out the dirty squeezing pot and now they're going to replace it with a clean squeezing pot. So this is what's actually the squeezing pot right here, this mechanism. Um, this is pretty much the only part that really comes in contact with the juice. Um, it separates out into, whoops, it separates out into a few, a few different pieces. Um, one, the center part, which actually helps with squeezing the juice, and then um, two and three other pieces here. All of this is what will be removed um, in order to be taken back to the office to be washed, rinsed, sanitized, dried, and then stored back in its plastic uh, container. I guess the what we would store it in to be able to bring it back to install into the new machine is going to be a plastic bag. Um, a clean, fresh plastic bag. After it's washed and dried, it'll be sealed. We'll be brought back to the machine, placed in here, uh, so that it is then ready. So that it is then ready to uh, squeeze the next oranges with the uh, fresh squeezing pot. Um, last but not least, you put on the cover to go ahead and. Uh, Keep it secure in there. It latches on. So as you can see, the, the squeezing pot is only inside. Everything else doesn't really come in contact with juice. Uh, just to give you a better idea, let's look down here. The peels are going to drop out of the bottom of the squeezing pot after they don't touch anything on the way down. Um, and will fall right here into our waste bin. Uh, directly fall into here. Um, and then one more point I'd like to point out is the entire machine is refrigerated. So the inside, it's insulated, sealed, refrigerated. I mean, it has huge seals here on the side. Uh, you can see how thick it's insulated here on the top, here on the sides, um, in order to ensure sanitization. Um, so yes, if you have any other questions, please let me know. I hope that tour kind of ran you through it enough. Um, we're really excited to get the machines uh, permitted so that we can move forward. Of course, there's still things up in the air, but once we get them permitted, we can move forward on locations and then get commissary agreements and get everything going well for you. So if you have any more questions or would like any more details on another video, just let me know and uh, we'll keep in touch. Thank you very much. Hope you have a great day.